voice and begin to appreciate God. I know somebody is already here by the ministration of the choir. I know somebody already have received a sent word, the voice of God. I know that as you step your feet through the gate, that miracle has started to happen in your life. Begin to thank him and he will perfect what he has started. Father, we thank you for your awesome presence. We give you all the glory. Thank you, almighty God, for the healing, for the deliverance that already happening. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Tell your neighbor you are a special person. Tell the other person you are a blessed man. You are a blessed woman. Because God said, blessed is the man uh, that he caused to appear in his presence. Because it's not about he uh, that worketh or he that labor. It's God, God that showeth mercy. It's not he that will let to come to church or it's God that brings people. And you are among those that God decided to choose to bring you to church. To bless you, to give you his blessing. You are a special person. You are blessed. As the word of God is coming, your miracle will happen. What do you want? Talk to God this hour. What do you want? You have been talking what you don't want. Now talk what you want. You have been talking what is happening around you that you don't like. Now what do you want to happen? Talk to God. Father, as your word is coming, it may be word on prosperity, but healing will happen. It may be word on vengeance, but money will come in your pocket. Because he sent forth his word. His word does not only heal physically. He heals every area. He heals emotionally. His word he heals career. His word he heals family. He sent his word. His word he heals him. His word delivers from death. And his word delivered them from destruction. His word delivers from poverty. His word delivers from ignorance. His word delivers from shame and reproach. What do you want? As the word of God is coming now, talk to God. As my word is coming, God, one, two, three, I want it to happen. Break a top area. Remind him of your expectation in Shiloh 2018. Lord, this morning, as your word is coming, let my miracle happen. Let my expectation turn to manifestation. This morning, Father, we thank you. It is done because God says what he means and he means what he says. Put your hands together for Jesus because it's done and be comfortably seated in God's presence. Once again, welcome your neighbor on the left, on the right. Tell your neighbor you are looking panache. Tell your neighbor you are looking pineapple. Then why you are looking ripe apple, you are looking ripe banana, you are looking wow. You are just looking as if you just landed from international flight, not local one. Lufthansa Emirates. Glory. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. I thank God who have given me this privilege. On my own, I don't want it to minister to kings and queens like you. I give God all the glory. I also appreciate the leadership of this commission for this great privilege. The same auction that works through our father and the our pastor, Joseph Ajibari, will work through me to be a blessing to you this morning in the name of Jesus. His unavoidably absent is because it's an official assignment from the leadership and he will join us very shortly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God said to his servant Bishop David Oilibu, the hour has come to liberate mankind. Ask your neighbor, are you mankind? Or are you animal kind? Ask your neighbor, are you mankind? If you are mankind, then your liberation is happening right now. <laughs> to liberate all mankind from every oppression. Tell your neighbor, all. Oh, all oppression. The one you know, whether it is spirit wife, spirit auntie, spirit sister, spirit brother, from all oppression. The one you know, the one you don't know. God is setting you free from every affliction right now in the name of Jesus. Through the preaching of the word of faith, tell anybody the world is coming with faith. Tell anybody sit tight. Tell anybody fasting your seat there. Because your miracle is happening right now. In Jesus' precious name. The prophetic theme for this month is on wisdom. Thank God that my name is wisdom and I'm from above. 
if I'm not from above, I can't be standing in a place like this. So, as I minister to you, as I say, it is already happening for you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. In this state, before they count one, two, three, four, that is three, they will mention your name. Before they count one, two, three, four, family, that matter in this state, they will mention your family. Before they mention one, two, three marriages, that is wow, your marriage will be involved. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before they can one, two, three, four children that are doing great in Nigeria abroad, your children are more in the mighty name of Jesus. Please be comfortably seated if you can. If you can, please be seated. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. The topic is unveiling the reality of wisdom from above. God's wisdom is ultimate. He's not the wisest God. If you call him the wisest, that means there is somebody that is wise. That means there is another person that is wiser. And then he becomes the wisest. God said, I am the only wise. Everybody is stupid and foolish. Only Jehovah is wise. That's why without him, we can do nothing. Anybody that is boasting and is not of the Lord, he has already failed. Only God is why every other person is foolish. That's why we can't, we can't, you know, but, but pursue him. I said, we want to be town foolish, God forbid. Once we leave him, foolishness began. Once we stop following him, foolishness manifests. But as we continue pursuing after him, and he's pouring himself in us, and who is he? He's the word you are hearing. As we continue to pursue after his word, as we continue to locate him, pursue, then we continue to exercise wisdom, exhibit wisdom. And everywhere you see wisdom, there is excellence. Everywhere you see wisdom, there is prosperity. Everywhere you see wisdom, there is peace all around. And all these attributes and much more will surround your life from now forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Unveiling the reality of wisdom of God, wisdom from above. I'm not talking about wisdom of native doctors. I'm not talking about wisdom of Gmail people. Cybercrime hackers. No. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world? And they don't even gain the world when SARS is pursuing them up and down. <laughs> and after it, before 60, they have gone. Heart attack, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, middle blood pressure. Before 60, the person have already gone. Why? He's doing something that is not good. But it is a type of a wisdom. But that is not the type of wisdom we are talking. We are talking wisdom from above. Wisdom that is pure. I see you enjoying. I've said it before. If you are with me, you can say, man, 120. I'm still younger. I check my wedding picture, I look at my face, and I find out my face is more handsome now than when I wedded. So the thing works, I tell you. I tell you, this thing works. So 120, I'll be more younger, more handsome, still going for honeymoon. Blessing my children, children, children to the fifth generation. So I say I'm more than 70, 80 years. Uh, so if it's an woman, I say, I'll go be a guapo. Babies. You see how more than 80 years to go. So, what is it? If you start now, you will make it. If you start now to connect with wisdom that war, before this year is over, you are already there. No devil will tell you that you have missed it. No. Abraham started at 75 to connect to God's wisdom. The word of God, the voice of God. He hammered. 
Jesus have to die and resurrect to connect me and you to Abraham by the reason of his greatness on this earth. A man that was 75, zero. But he connected to God wisdom. And then he excelled. You is already excelling. By sitting here, you are already excelling. And it will be brighter and brighter. Unveiling the reality of wisdom from above. James 3 from verse 15 to 17. This wisdom descended not. This wisdom descended. It's talking about another type of wisdom. Not from above, but it's earthly, sensual, and devilish. Like those that do jime and why me and any kind of me. Praise God. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Now, verse 17. That's the wisdom now we are talking about. But the wisdom that is operational in this commission is the wisdom that is from above. It's first what? Pure. There's no lie. To lie to get money, that is not wisdom. To cheat to get money, that is not wisdom. To take your, your friend's fiancé or fiancé, that is not wisdom. It's pure, it's peaceable, it's gentle, it's easy to be entreated, it's full of mercy. Somebody shout mercy. It's full of mercy and good fruits. Somebody say good fruits. Without partiality, without hypocrisy. That's the wisdom that is entering inside of you. Now, if you receive it, say I receive. Do your hand like this, say I receive this wisdom. So, what is this wisdom? Luke chapter 6 and verse 40. Luke 6, 40. This wisdom is knowing the word of God and doing it. The disciple is not above his master. But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Be as his master. Ask your neighbor, is Jesus your master? Yes. You be like him. Can you imagine Jesus be stranded when on the way he doesn't know how to go about it? No. He needed a G wagon. That's a cart, a donkey of their time. That's a G wagon. He just come and say, Go to that place. You see one G wagon parked there. Nobody have a brand new tear leather. Just get it come. Did they get it for him? He can't be stranded. He can't be stranded. Everywhere he appears, he carries solution. That is the type of wisdom coming upon you now in the name of Jesus. You be like the master. No more struggling. No more sickness. There's a way out of every challenge. Tell me what, there's always a way out. And wisdom shows us that we are. You will never be stagnated again in Jesus' name. So what is this wisdom? This wisdom is knowing the right way to go from the Bible and going in that way. This wisdom is knowing the right thing to do from the word of God and doing it. If you do what, what God say, that means you are doing God. Before you know it, you begin to be like him. God is so rich that heaven is full of gold. The Arabs should not deceive us that they are richer. Because in the Arab, you see a lot of all these Arabians, they go plate their cars. They silver plate their cars. They say this car worth so 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 million dollars. Gold everywhere. Bear me witness in Dubai and many countries in the Middle East. One of the major things they get is gold. True. But now, if we become like our father, whether we are in the ten, we're also in the east. 
God who is surround us like our father. The houses are built with gold. The pavement, gold. That, that house, that means the wall means sand and cement. If the wall is gold, I wonder what the ceiling will be. I wonder what the roofing sheet of the mansions in heaven will be. Because the roofing sheet is more quality processed material than what the wall is made of. So if the wall is gold, then there must be something bigger than gold in heaven. I, I can't wait to go there, but I must finish my more than when I reach 127, I decide the time to go. <laughs> Praise God. We be like him. I always see the streets of heaven like gold and gold, you know, molded gold in, in form of interlocking stone. Interlock the street. And if we begin to obey the word of God very shortly, money, which answers all things, will not be our challenge again. We we'll begin to, you know, live even like this commission. Money is never a problem in this commission. If there is any challenge, it's what will we do with money according to the perfect ways of God. And that is how your life will be. So you look at your domiciliary account, too much dollars. You look at your GTB account, too much duchy. You look at your Eco Bank account, too much money. You begin to say, God, how, what will I do? Why? They are, you already have two or three, four estates. So, God, what will I invest this money in that will please you? That is where wisdom takes us. We be like our master. What is wisdom? Wisdom, knowing the right step, the right turn to take from the word of God and then taking it and following suit. Knowing the direction to go from the word of God and going it. You will not miss your place on this earth in the name of Jesus. Help me tell you never again, you are a celebrity. You won't miss your place in the name of Jesus. I receive speed to deliver in the name of Jesus. If you are blessed, shout a louder, Amen. Wisdom is the raw gift of God to all his children. Jude, chapter 1, verse 25. Jude has one chapter. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. And Proverbs 13, 22. A good man liveth inheritance to his children. And God is our father. Is he not what you have, you give? That wisdom that is deposited in you, I see it being activated. Somehow, it has been there at the point of born again. But it's like oil that have congealed. But when fire comes, it melts and becomes more useful. The same way, I see the wisdom of God that is deposited in you at the point you become a child of God because a good man liveth what? Inheritance, what he has. And God is the only wise God. That's what he has, wisdom. So I see wisdom work for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God gave it to Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 4, 29 to 30. Solomon didn't have it. He has money. I wonder some people that they have not eaten. They don't have work. They have not eaten. They don't have work. Nothing is around them. Maybe they are sleeping from one friend's house to another. And then when they come, a pastor to pray for him or her, the, the, the person begins to form so over spirituality. I say, brother, one thing you want God to do, just, just mention it, let's, let's decree and agree and pray over and so that God will do it. Uh, some of them will say, uh, I, want, I want to be spiritual. Solomon had money. 
Solomon had money. His father, David, left mo mo too much money he can't finish for him. Solomon is already a king. Honor, glory, power, money he has. What else do you think Solomon needs? It's wisdom. See, he asks, him, he, he asks God what he needs. Somebody is, is expecting fruit of the womb after so many years of marriage. I, I ask him, what one thing do you need? He says, spirituality. Okay. <laughs> Going to 45 or something like that. Sister, what is it that if God come now and you one thing to do, he says, pastor, pastor, I want to be spiritual. Thank you. Praise God. It's wisdom to locate the word of God and walk in it. God asked me, Pastor Wisdom, what do you need? I answered three times. On this end, three times. Money, money, wait. At that point, I was loading vehicle at Opi Waker and Head Bridge or Jota Masa Masa. I was still singing in choir. Not that I was, a, I was still a winner singing in the choir. My father said, if you are living without working, you are dying slowly without knowing. There is dignity in level. I say, today I must not eat mama, mommy, thank you again. I must go outside there and I must work with my hands. And the job I could lay hold that day, if you load one bus to Lagos, they give you 250 naira. Wow. I engage. But apply wisdom. Am I still there? Okay. So at that point, how will I be telling God that I need spirituality? I ask God for money. Well, if you look at me, you know that some money have touched me. <laughs> I'm AC is blowing to me in my bedroom and AC is blowing to on my head in the office. I'm preaching the gospel and AC is blowing. AC is just blowing. AC is blowing. The gospel and AC is blowing. Money is there. Money is there. Somebody, uh, uh, using air conditioned bus to go outreach. Air conditioned boy wants to go and preach the gospel inside, the, inside, inside AC. Money is there. Money is there. I say amen to your prayers in your heart now in the name of Jesus. The wisdom of God worked for Solomon. God gave him wisdom. It worked for him. It worked for Paul. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 15. And this wisdom is a gift and is coming to you now in the name of Jesus. And I count that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even Second Peter three fifteen. Our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him was given to him. Somebody now wisdom in this commission is entering your spirit mind in the name of Jesus. He had written unto us. People will read your books in the name of Jesus. I was pastoring somewhere 2013 and a man called me. He said, I'm calling his American number. And he said, I'm reading your book now. I'm going to work in America. And as I'm reading your book now, I remember you. So, Pastor Wisdom Books is not local books. It's books they read in America. Wisdom must be in that book for it to reach America. Praise God. And somebody read, reading it in America. Impartation has to happen to him. And he left the American environment to remember Nigeria to call. You are greatness. No man will sit on top of you in Jesus' name. 
every devil trying to mess up with your blueprint destiny, I curse them in the name of Jesus. Those in the east are the richest. Far east, richest. Everywhere is money is there. I command your well located in the name of Jesus. I command your finances located in the name of Jesus. Every demon in assignment to rob you of your financial dignity. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse those devils. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom work for Daniel. Just Joseph testified that God has this wisdom. Genesis 41, 15 to 16. He said to Pharaoh, It's not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. God shall solve the problem of Pharaoh by his wisdom. That wisdom worked for Joseph. At this piece, look at the wisdom of Joseph. Joseph was putting God first. Apart from knowing the answer, he didn't tell him, I have it. It's wisdom. Making God first. Pharaoh is not a meal. Meanwhile, he have it. He used it to preach the gospel to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, God, we give you an answer. Wisdom. And today, we are still celebrating him. I see you being celebrated by putting God first in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are the access to this wisdom? Number one. Through genuine heart for God. First Samuel 13, 14. Mean what you say to God and say what you mean to God. Genuine heart for God. First Samuel 13, 14. God speaking about David, the Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. He looks at the heart. Mean what you say to God, say what you mean. Genuine heart. God, I love you. I want to serve you. Say it, mean it. If you don't mean it, don't say it. If you, are, if you, if you want to say it, mean it. And then, God will enable you to fulfill it. I see you succeeding by genuine pursuing after God. Genuine pursuing after God in the name of Jesus Christ. That is one way to get wisdom. Another way to get wisdom among others is through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Job 32 7 to 8. The wisdom of God was domiciled in the man called Job, the richest man in the world in his time. How dare they say that too much money is bad? When Bible time, people that love God, people that are holy, has been the richest. Very soon, very soon. I won't tell you the number, whether number one or very soon, the richest pastors in the world, you will mention Pastor Wisdom. In the order of my father, Bishop David Oedipo, it doesn't take a decade. Suddenly, Job was the richest man. Why? He had the wisdom of God in him. He was following God. Job chapter 1 verse 3 was the richest man. But in verse 1, a man that is upright and is true evil. He was not doing Jimmy. He was not doing Fawa He was not doing Yahoo Yahoo. He was the richest. He feared God. As wisdom. Wisdom is to fear God. Job feared God. He had the wisdom of God. The wisdom of pursuing God. Winning soul. Putting God first. Winning soul, fearing God, that will make you not to do evil thing. I see it come afresh on us, and it will result in your greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. In Job 32, as I read verse 7 and verse 8, I say, they should speak, a multitude of they should, t- should teach wisdom. Verse 8, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty give them wisdom. That understanding there means wisdom. The inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. Wisdom is the application of that understanding. But at this level, 
give her them understanding. You can't have this kind of understanding and not apply it. Can you be looking for money and you are walking on the street and you hit one bottle of one 1,000 naira notes and that is, how much is that? 100,000. We, we, do you need a prophet to prophesy to you to pick it? And you are trekking maybe from your house to church and you hit 100,000 naira notes. Maybe early morning, nobody is seeing. You just hit something. You look, it's money. It must be angel. So, the same way, you can't see the revelation from the word of God. You can't get the understanding in the word of God and not apply it. God's servant saw that two husband and wife is equal to one person. One plus one is equal to one person. And he understood that somebody can slap himself. He just got the understanding. Somebody say wisdom. And he said, I can't beat my wife. I must be a foolish person. Only a madman can come out and be slapping himself. Tell him, slap yourself. If your wife don't slap her, but tell him, slap yourself. That is how he understood that he can't beat his wife. That is beating himself till tomorrow is still working. You can't see the word of God and not do it because it's a good thing. It will give success from today. I see you catching revelation from the world like never before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So through inspiration of the Holy Ghost, he opens the word of God to us because the letter killeth, but it's the spirit of God that giveth life. So from today, as the word is coming, Holy Ghost will be opening you up to see clearly what God is saying for your benefit. And you will be enjoying doing it from now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please understand also that testimonies abound, showing that what God is doing in this commission is real. We are in the season of Operation Come and See. Like yesterday, we went out in the street and we are winning so. Please, if you see me on the street or marketplaces and when the praise is going and you see me dancing like this, I'm celebrating God. He's so winning. We are happy people. If I carry the flyer on my face like this, you know my face is very fine originally. I'm the most handsome man on earth. I'm not ugly. God can create ugly person. If I'm ugly, I resemble God. Is God ugly? He creates me in his own image. My nose is the nose of God. It's inside. But this face, does he look like the kind of face they sent to state choice? Wisdom brought me here. Following God. Praise God. So when you see me in the marketplace and they are praying music with my flyer. Wisdom. When I'm doing it, I look inside the buses. They also nod in their head. I say, correct, take flyer. <laughs> Praise God. It's working. So winning. Makes things work. I told you money I've never finished in my bank account. Money I've not finished in my pocket. Gas I've never finished in the cylinder. Although it's one cylinder, but gas never finished there. <laughs> when he seemed finished, my wife said, gas is plenty. I said, how plenty? He said, very, very plenty. So if butane have finished, methane is still inside. <laughs> if methane finished, carbon dioxide is a gas. Doesn't finish. Why? I'm serving God. I'm winning so. As I win so, he supply my need. You will not fail. Let's check this testimony now. 11 years I near healed via soul winning. 
I give glory to God for his faithfulness and validating his mandate upon this commission. I have been suffering from hernia for the past 11 years. I engaged in kingdom advancement with my whole heart, holding on to the promise of God. Last Sunday service, tag breaking invisible barrier. I saw a contact of mine from the harvest field in the church. When I got home that night, I thank God for compelling, for compelling the contact to be in church. As the contact has already told me after the service that he was grateful that I invited him for the service as he would have henceforth be worshipping here. Tell your neighbor, relax here. Tell your neighbor, abide here. Tell your neighbor, sit tight here. I reminded God of his promise to answer whatever request brought forward by anyone who brought a soul to church that day according to John 15:16. I asked for divine healing. To my greatest surprise, I woke up early morning for the covenant hour of prayer to discover that the yoke of hyena I had, I had been carrying since 2006 has been miraculously disappeared. Could not find it. Now I am healed. Truly, God is not a user of men, but a rewarder of men and he pays to obey prophetic instruction. Surely the Lord in this place, and I give him all the glory. God is here teaching us what to do to succeed. So the economy doesn't, uh, it doesn't touch me. Almost every month, I give plus 10,000 to whatever that is my salary for years now, for years now. So when my salary comes, I add it like 10,000. And then I send it. I <laughs> all of them go. Stand up wisdom. Pastor, how are you paying school fees in hundreds of thousands? Gas never finished. No, where in the cars? So there are no cars. How are you doing it? Are you not the pastor? I'm not the senior pastor, so it's not that uh, I can't come. No, I'm just in my office. Praise God. But money never finishes. Nobody gets sick. We're wearing good clothes. We're wearing nice shoes. Things are working. They're so winning. So winning. That's what I've been doing in Nekede that they put me here. In Jesus' name, I never stop. I will continue. No devil will stop me from going for so. Once you are going for so, God gives you miracle husband. You bring so, God gives you so. You need miracle baby. You bring so, God give put so there. You need money. So what's money? They kidnap it to get money on the other side. But God doesn't kidnap it. You bring it, God makes it well. You bring so for God, God will give you money. So in this operation, come and see. Every folklore, be part of the outreach. God will bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. As you're rounding up, remember that today is Operation vengeance we have had some things about vengeance almost every evening since this operation come and see we have been praying vengeance prayers if you're here if, if it's to let me see your hand to confirm hallelujah praise god nevertheless vengeance is of god jesus taught us to pray vengeance prayer luke 18 1 to eight, especially in verse seven, he said, Will God not avenge his elect? Verse seven. So Jesus is telling us that God does vengeance. God gets angry, like he got angry in Pharaoh. Ibo musician called God Otiri Pharaoh Mount. That's vengeance. If you go, if Pharaoh is wherever he's suffering in hellfire now, he asks him, Who is God? He said, I never see a wicked man like God. He touched me, he, he killed me softly. He, he, God is, Pharaoh will tell you that God is wicked. May God be wicked to your enemies in the name of Jesus. I say, May God be wicked to your enemies in the name of Jesus. Those that doesn't want you to live, those that doesn't want money to be in your pocket, those that doesn't want the celebrity which God has designed you to be, to manifest, may God uh, be wicked to them in the name of Jesus. God was wicked. 
He said, if I kill this man, then he will just die. He won't, he won't see the pain of death. Make I the kill him softly. He begins to deal with him. Pam. Kum. Kapam. Praise God. Your enemies are gone. I say your enemies are gone. Those devil that is manipulating people against you, manipulating your husband against you, trying to push your children to do nothing, they are gone in the name of Jesus. Such a victory, what you'll be experiencing from now in Jesus' mighty name. Weapons of vengeance. Number one is revelation. Revelation. As you are understanding what God is saying through me now, that is vengeance to the enemy. John 1, 1 to 5. The light is silent in darkness, verse 5. Darkness there means evil. So as you are hearing the truth, okay, go evangelism, you get money. You go evangelism, you don't need salary. You enjoy supernatural supply, but the salary will be increased and you'll be promoted anyway. So as the world is coming, darkness, disappointment, struggling, ignorance is going. And that is how revelation, the word of God, is a tool for vengeance. You won't miss any service all throughout this year and beyond in Jesus' mighty name. And you will get in revelation, illumination, thereby devil will be suffering. Anytime somebody say, okay, I see, now I understand what has happened. He has killed that demon. The light of the word of God has shattered that devil. So, revelation is a tool for vengeance. And again, praise God. Again, violent faith is a weapon of vengeance. And this, the beginning of this commission, according to our father, my father, your father, Bishop David Oedipo, he said that while the church was in Kaduna, some governmentals came and told them, this church is not where it's supposed to be. You have to leave this place. And then, he said, within seven days, they will bring caterpillar and pull it down. He told, it, he told the man, by faith, with a bold declaration, before seven days, you, your God has sent you, and I believe the man that will drive the caterpillar, all of them before seven days, they are dead. The man know that he's so. He begin to beg, please, sir. I know for like, whether you follow or you know follow before seven days, you are clear. Oh, he saw the faith. God can send you move forward. Somebody say you won't go forward. Thunder must blast the person off the road. God can say this wedding will happen, and, and there's devil, one devil want to say it won't happen. Whatever God say, it come to pass. Genesis one to verse thirty one. Whatever God say, come to pass. God said this year you will have dominion. No bastard will stop it. Dominion you will be having on every side. Receive it, shout it louder. Amen. I will hear your testimony. This testimony I want to share, it looks somehow, but I have to share it. You know, God is, is, is a God of vengeance and he avenging for me. It's a young pastor, one of the stations, pastor in Winners Chapel. And then one accountant there's a way he presented some things i don't understand that i say please uh if this thing don't give me this kind of money please please this kind of money don't send it to me he said hey you are looking at me as if i said no i'm not saying but if you can't write specifically this money is for this please i don't need pastor wisdom doesn't need it because i know where my money comes and then the accountant got angry in a state church and then he said, I will deal with you. He said to me, I will deal with you. He said, look at you. You are in another man's ministry. Me, I can't, I have my ministry. Very soon I will start my own ministry. Look at you. In another man, boy, boy ministry. I said, okay, go out of my room, office. To call the long story short, he still maintained that he would deal with me. I just thought, with faith, I tell him, how can you deal with me when you are dead? Can a dead man deal with somebody? You are dead. The man slumped, he died. But I told God it's not me because after that, I said, God, I've forgiven him anyway, so but he died anyway. Anyway, he died anyway. The power 
life and death is where? On one of the stations, I was walking with all my strength, with all the faith God gave me, with everything God gave me, including my money, to make the work to work. Because it's when they work, things will work for me. And some person that doesn't want it go their way, gathered with the church board chairman, not our own church board chairman, not our accountants. Our accountants are the best in the world. And they, before you know, they wrote some petitions against me. And they went for that meeting. Why they send you know, senior pastors to sit on it? The church board chairman stood up. He said, is this woman, this man that I've gathered, this pastor wisdom is good. He needs promotion. These people, they call me to, to make with a lie this lie. In the meeting, stand up vengeance. Vengeance. So the panel will say, we are not here for promotion, whatever, interview. They say, Pastor Wisdom needs promotion. <laughs> Pastor Wisdom need promotion. These are the people, letter to the highest level. And then somebody couldn't hold it. I don't know who gathered against you. I don't know who wants to sit on your promotion. To tell you true, I'm here because some people also gathered against me to report me to state church here. But they didn't know they are telling people that there is one man, Pastor Wisdom, at the backside of nowhere, going all through naked, knocking every door. Jesus lost you. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying my, my office, and this place is the best people in the whole world. You are blessed. I don't know what is against you. But stand up now. God, whoever is behind what I'm suffering, let them die. Let them die. God has forgiven you, but anybody that is behind what you are suffering, let them die. Why should you be serving God, winning soul, and they want to delay your promotion, and somebody is behind it? You didn't do something, and people gather against you. You do the right thing, even in church, and somebody say, we deal with you. For what? For what? Anyone reason against you, they are there in the name of Jesus. The God of our Father, Bishop Oedipo, vengeance is normal. Vengeance is normal. All your enemies are dead. Whether they are demon, whether they are witch doctor, whether they are necromancer, soothsayer, rosocrucer, oboni, courtist, whether in the school or in the street, in Kobu, they are dead in the name of Jesus. You are promotion happening. You are miracle marriage happening. You are promotion. The works of your hand prospering from today forever. You are enemies there. Every devil assigned to bring you down. I buy them. I cast them to hell. Never to come back again. Maka le posusia. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' mighty name. As we are rounding up, you are here and you are not born again. It's those that have a father in heaven that we enjoy the benefit of vengeance. You have to have a father in heaven. Jesus said, we God, will our father in heaven not have avenged his elect? If he are not elect, who we avenge. Is it abstract? It's not abstract. There is God in heaven. How do we become his elect? Giving our lives to him. And if we have left him, we reconnect. Don't be ashamed to reconnect now. It's stupidity to be ashamed to do what profit. You are here. You have not given your life to Jesus before now. Somebody invited you to this show, and you are tired of oppression or witches and wizard poverty. People gather against you and they succeed. Never again. Give your life to Jesus, He will avenge you. 
all head bow. You want to accept Jesus as Lord and President Savior, well, run to the altar. I mean run. Be running to the altar. We have limited time. The Lord bless you as you are running to the altar. Be running to the altar. Or oh, everyone be standing on your feet. Be running, uh, running, run, run, run to the altar. You are tired of failure. They are gathering against you. In the dream, they gather. Physically, they gather. Because you are bastarded. Run to the altar. It will end this hour. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Run to the altar. God is a merciful God. God is a merciful God. Run to the altar. Run to the altar. Run to the altar. That affliction is ending now. Run to the altar. Run to the altar. No more. No more. Rededicate your life. Rededicate your life. Rededicate your life. God is telling you to come. Come, come, come. Run, run, run. We have limited time. Run. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. No more suffering. fighting for you. You are in business. You are connected to evil doer and you are coming to church. Now, repent. Rededicate your life. I'm talking to you now. Run to the altar and your miracle will happen suddenly this morning. As the choir is ministering, please come. Come. Jesus loves you. Marriage will work. Rededicate yourself to Jesus. We are still waiting for you. We are still waiting for you. Don't look at your statue. Don't look at your statue. Devil can mess statue up. Come and give your life to Jesus. To Jesus. We are waiting for you. Please come. Please come. Please come, you will make it. Come, come, Jesus loves you. We hold in nothing. We hold in nothing. We hold in nothing. We hold in nothing. blessed in Jesus name salvation is the highest miracle if God do highest miracle here you are, what you want miracle children miracle job it is already done today you will get miracle job today you test they will tell you there is baby in your womb whatever you are looking for it is done this hour in the name of Jesus Christ Everyone be on your feet. If today is the first day you are coming to this on a Sunday like this, please continue standing. Be on your feet. Continue standing. Why every other member sit down? Because we want to celebrate the first time. And if your neighbor is standing, shake him, shake her. Welcome her. Give him or her a warm handshake. We love you. Please take your Bible, your bag, your phone, your iPad, whatever you come to church with. Please come to the altar. As the choir is ministering, be coming to the altar. And there is a first time packing that God has designed for you. The Lord bless you. Are you clapping for them as they are coming?
Jesus, I'll pray for you, but before then, maybe why I was calling those that want to give your life to Jesus, you are reluctant, but now you are standing in front of Jesus, you want to make your life right with him, all head bow, just lift up your hand, you are in front here, you want to make your way right with Jesus, lift up your hand, I pray for you first, lift up your hand, you want to make your way right with Jesus, you want to rededicate your life to him, lift up your right hand, lift it up where? You want to make your way right with God? Please look at me. All the hand lifted up. Please come over to this side. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. We love you. Come over to this side. And so that we'll pray for you well. And so that we'll make sure you don't lack any good thing. So that we'll give you the support you need. So that we'll make sure you are winning on every side. You want to uh, make your way right with God. Please come over this side. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations. People of God, are you clapping for Jesus for this miracle he is doing here? Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. You want to make your way right with God? Please, let the demarcation be so. Come over to this side. Now put your right hand on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. Forgive me. I believe you died. On the third day, you rose again. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. Amen. Now I believe I'm born again. Amen. Bible says, with the heart, a man believeth with the mad confession is made unto righteousness. So now you are born again. So when you reach your home, write today's date, 2nd June 2019. You became born again. You rededicated your life. You will never backslide. From now, it's winning all the way. Anyone that rises against you, whether human, abstract, or spirit, they are going down for your sake. While you are succeeding, till Jesus come. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please follow our pastors, and then they will give you some information about this church, and including Holy Ghost baptism, and also water baptism. God bless you. For all our first timers, we love you so dearly. Just like whatever Adam called it, in, that's what he answered. This is winner's chapel. We win with our sweat. We win with our struggle. No more struggle in your life. No more sweating in your life. In your family, maritally, financially, in every area, things will be working very easily in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We'll have good packages for you. Holy Ghost baptism and other good things. Please follow the kingdom friends and they will give you these packages in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. God will give you a testimony today as a proof that he is the one we are serving here. People of God, are you clapping for Jesus? He is still here. He is working and he is delivering your own miracle. The louder you clap, the faster your miracle locates you. The same Jesus that is bringing the multitude. The same Jesus that is making salvation happen. The same Jesus will be bringing your miracle this hour. The louder you clap, the faster your miracle locates you. You are blessed in Jesus' name. As we are rounding up this service, we'll be start tomorrow. For all our first timers and new converts, it's free of charge. Please let form be given to them. All our first timers, new converts, is free of charge. They will not pay school fees. Praise Master Jesus. But if they are wise, they will pay. When somebody gives you something free, you say no. In this generation, things that are free most times doesn't have value. But when you pay for something, you have value for it. Nevertheless, scholars, they on scholarship. All of them will be present here tomorrow for Wobi, and God will give them speedy elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. And then for everyone, you have not done BCC. 
just lift up your hand and a form will be passed to your hand. You are here, lift up your hand. You have not done be, uh, basic certificate course in our WOV. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Do you know what is BCC? That is basic certificate course in our Bible school. We NAS Bible school everywhere in the world is barely two weeks. Two weeks and you are done. Every pastor you see in this commission is just a product of this two, two weeks Bible school as it is now. So be part of what God is doing. Wherever God brings you, know everything God has there. Take your own portion. Uh, so our inheritances are in the word of God. And in Bible school is where you see this inheritance to the point of taking them. So be in Wobi. Nevertheless, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, uh, part B of it, as the studio helped me to put it on the screen, God said, I will reject anyone that rejects knowledge. Because God doesn't want his children to be destroyed. So he releases knowledge everywhere. The knowledge of the word of God will be everywhere on the earth as water covered everywhere. And Wobi is one of that place where you know you are left from your right. So that you will not be moved by the wind of doctrine. So please, you have not done BCC. Lift up your hand, collect it. It's starting tomorrow morning. God bless you. God will not reject you in Jesus' mighty name. He said, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Somebody say, God forbid. So collect that form and come and receive knowledge of the word of God. And then for those that have done BCC and you have not done LCC, also lift up your hands. Please uh, uh, collect the form from the pastors. Call them. Call them. They are around you. Lift up your hand where and they will give the form to you. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be giving God uh, some three minutes victory praise uh, before we close this service. And that victory praise is the perfection of your blessing. Those witches and wizards, whether it be your mother, father that is against you, they are they already dead. No mercy. I say they already dead. If it's your father or your mother that is hindering you from conceiving, from getting married, if it's your father, whoever, talk less of native doctor, they are dying now. As we are dancing, God will kill them today. You will return with testimony. We praise God with understanding. Victory pray as your promotion letter is already waiting for you in your office. Let's jump on our feet, put our hands together as we welcome the praise team for victory praise. Oh, I 
Kiri. The King of Glory. Ascent of Days. The God of Ayala. The God of Ajiba. name we continue this praise in the test service lift up your hands appreciate god father we thank you we give you all the glory appreciate him for the blessing for the victory thank him for his word for his wisdom thank him for he has fought your battle and he's still fighting and giving you victory as you go blessings locate you on every side in jesus name remember you to our live prayer congress hold immediately at the protocol hall in Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed in Jesus' precious name. Is it protocol hall or uh, information center? Which of them? Lift up your hand and surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I have dominion and I take dominion.